<笑>あいいかもいいかもはいどうも漢字です七瀬ですえっとまあ今日はですねえー、な,なんだっけ<笑><笑>えっと今日の企画はですね最近ディープエールっていうのは流行ってるの知ってますか Google 翻訳よりもあの翻訳のセールが高いっていうことで評判の翻訳システムでこれの、まあ、性能をちょっとこっちで検証していきたいなと思いますイエーイイエーイ<笑>まあ検証普通に検証してもつまらないんでちょっとうちの,、まあ、うちの会社はせっかく外国人が多いのでちょっとこのディープエールで翻訳した英語を使ってちょっとミーティングをしてみて相,相手の外国人にバレないかどうかという検証をしてみたいと思います<笑>で、えっと、具体的な、えー、検証方法なんですけれども、えっと、こちらの七瀬さんあの帰国子女ということであの英語ペラペラです英語ペラペラなので、まあ、そのペラペラな人が急に、まあ、翻訳調の英語を喋ったらちょっとおかしくなるんじゃないかということで、うん、ちょっと七瀬さんに、まあ、しゃべる方を担当してもらいます、はい、で僕が日本語を打って DPL に翻訳英語に翻訳させますで私がそれを読みます、はいはいでまあ、読み上げてもらって相手がどういう反応をするかっていうのを、まあ、見ていきたいと思いますで事前にうちの社員にメッセージで私がミーティングしたいってことは伝えてあるのではい早速早速夢の世界に飛び込む<笑>いやいや<笑>違うんだじゃあ早速別室の方に、えー、移動してみたいと思いますハロー。Thank you for your time. So, I am currently trying to、um, organize some webinars for both students and like, people here in Japan.、Um, okay. And the first one is on July 3rd. I think the second one, we, I want to do something to engineers, I think. I just have no engineering background, so I was trying to think what kind of content I should do if you have any ideas. I have lots of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me ask you something first. Are you planning to do this in English or in Japanese?、Um, or in French or something else? I think maybe in both. Like one in Japanese, one in English. I see. I think that if you are going to address engineers, the best thing to do is to talk to them about the basic strength of Corpy. And the basic strength of Corpy is XAI, explainable AI. I don't think it would make much sense to go into details about the specifics that we use, particularly for the various models that we're using here. Most people already know that. Like if you start talking about convolutional neural networks or things like that. They just take a library and they use it and that's it. So there is not much value to this. Explainable AI is something very new. And everyone is interested in it, but not everyone knows what it is and how it works. Yeah,、so、I, was, I was also so thinking, like, why、um, don't we do a st- storyboard about the history of Corpy? I mean, yes, the history of Corpy is vast, of course. We have all three years of history behind us.、Mm-hmm. So definitely、right. we should do that. <laughs> what do you mean, more precisely, the history of Corpy? Like,、um, how it's it started. It's an interesting idea, but you know, I'm wondering, it depends on what is the purpose of the seminar and who is the audience of the seminar. If you are addressing people who would be interested in perhaps starting their own startup, joining a startup, or I don't know, people who are already working in a startup and they want to contribute with external knowledge. So, this is why it's called the Hackathon. So, what I want to say with this is that this kind of experience, this kind of、um, webinar might be interesting for people. If we tell them the difficulties that we have had. So, I think that if we want to talk about the history of Corpy, what we have done so far, how we have gotten so far, this is one thing.、Mm-hmm. But if we want to talk for the technical part, like what we do concretely, how we do it, why we do it, this is still interesting. But from my point of view, I would consider something, something like this in this spirit.、Okay. If they are really engineers, I don't think that they would care about、uh, Kohei not sleeping for three weeks, for example.、Mm-hmm. Why don't we have a Zoom party? A Zoom? What is a Zoom party? A Zoom party. I'm very new to Zoom and I hate Zoom, so I don't know what is a Zoom party, please. Zoom, like drinking party. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could do that. Yeah. Yeah. So the idea is just you go in front of Zoom and you have a beer and you drink? 
Okay, I guess I, I think that's a nice idea. It could work, yeah. But do you mean like an internal Zoom party or to invite also people from the outside? Um, outside. I see, I see. So it would be an open invitation to people who want to join us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. But I think that Zoom has a limit up to like 40 people, right? I'm not sure. The idea is good. I like the idea. Then the implementation, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Do you think, do you, would you like to participate in it? In the Zoom party? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you have a participant. I'm here. Sergey, you're participating in the Zoom party, right? Yes. Part you're also participating in the Zoom party, right? Of course. Okay, so we have already three people for the Zoom party. <laughs> and I think Kochan is also going to participate, of course. Kochan. Uh, Kochan is Kohei Sama. Do you have any other ideas? Uh, well, uh, you want to say about the um, about the webinar? We and we will have a born bowling tournament. A bowling tournament. That's exciting, but I suck at bowling. We could yeah. have a bowling tournament. That is actually very interesting. That is very interesting. But let me ask you. So, these events you are organizing them with what purpose? Organizing them with what purpose? There was an event where I went and they were showing, for example, uh, pose estimation, so the, the detection of skeleton. This is what Sergei is doing. Mm. So they were showing in real time how the camera can see your skeleton and you're moving and it's all moving in real time. So yeah, we could. And um, your, your dad's girlfriend will be featured in the webinar too. Is she? You're going to be featured in the webinar. Don't know how. She <laughs> wants to know. Wait, wait, we'll talk to her now. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? So, you, you can talk to her because I don't know what, what you mean she's going to be featured in the webinar. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yes. What is her role going to be? Do you want a proposal of who would be like... We can do a real-time translation. Not Hi. So, Zoom video webinar allows up to 10,000 attendees um, wow. only to attend, <laughs> broadcast a Zoom meeting. As a host or panelist, you share your screen, video, and audio um, via webinar. You can, attendees will be able to interact with the host and panelists via chat or Q&A options. I mean, if we have 10,000 people, that's going to be amazing. That's true. I think let's make a movie and show it. A movie? Movie. A movie of what? Like Star Wars. Or do you want to make a movie beforehand and show it at the webinar? Um, either way is fine. The thing that I'm not understanding. So for me, there are two possibilities. Um, so I think AI technology is attracting a lot of attention and is about to transform the structure of many industries. The need for AI will increase and we will be closer to a society that cannot live without it. And in an age where AI is autonomous and plays many roles in society, each of us must consider how we should deal with it. So as the use of AI advances, many issues will arise. In particular, many people will be discussing AI and ethics. And yeah. I completely agree. But uh, is that something that we would like to discuss? Or is it something, is it a topic for discussion? Is it a topic for the recording that we're talking about? Also, because what, what is the duration of this webinar that you had in mind? Like half an hour, one hour, 40 minutes? Two hours. Two hours? Yeah. Uh, two hours in, in total for Japanese and English, or two hours Japanese, two hours English? Two hours Japanese, two hours English. But what kind of content do you imagine for two hours? Because two hours is a lot of time, you know? We could include different topics. Well, we could indeed include different topics, but it if you're looking for free, if you're looking, for, sorry, 
If you're looking for free translation of English and other foreign languages into Japanese, you're probably familiar with Google Translator or Microsoft Translate, but a new translation service has been added to the DeepL Translate. The company that offers DeepL translation is a company that, <coughs> that uses deep learning um, and the company has long been popular abroad for its machine translation system that can produce high quality natural translations. DeepL translation, but it was not comparable with Japanese translation. And this is because Japanese and Chinese have their own language systems and the translation standards required by DeepL. So the reason for this is that it took a long time to reach. <coughs> is everything all right? Hi, thank you for joining. Thank you for <laughs> Welcome to YouTube channel. Welcome to YouTube. You're our first not, guest. This is not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Completely not okay. I have been scammed. So this is where Ko Chan was. Mm -hmm. We had your coffee here. We have yeah, your coffee. I know here. it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we also have Kanjikan's coffee and pretzel. And Sorry, Nas. I ate some pretzel <laughs> already. <laughs> yeah, I ate the other one. How was the our meeting? Uh, did it finish? It was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> some of them are generated by DeepL. So Kanji was typing as we were having conversation. Kanji was typing next to me, like <laughs> in Japanese, and I was just reading the translation in English. <laughs> Is this why you were talking so mechanical? Like, what's happening? Yeah, that's why I was supposed to be a robot. I had no idea about this. Oh. I see. So this is why she was so serious. Like, mm -hmm. and this is why your dance girlfriend is going to be featured. Did you, did you feel something strange about the English itself? No, the English itself was OK. Oh. But you know, it was very impersonal. I was like. <laughs> this is this has no relation to what we're saying. I couldn't understand. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> now I know. It's your fault. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. No, no. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. ま、今日ちょっとドッキリやってみたんですけど、あの、僕がドッキリ初めてだったっていうのがあって、ま、結構僕が下手くそでした。あの、もうちょっと次が、あの、ちゃんと練習してやっていこうと思います。えっと、検